Welcome to the Hard Reset YouTube channel. In this video, I would like to share a review of the newly added and introduced features and changes in the iOS 17.3. So to start in the new uh, iOS version or in the new iOS update, you've gotten the stolen device protection overhaul. Well, not as overhaul as some very important uh, and big changes. So for, for example, the stolen device protection is now uh, increasing the security of an iPhone and well, Apple ID in general, uh, since from now on, it is going to require the biometrical, so the face ID or touch ID um, with no passcode fallback to perform certain actions once, well, you are in the stolen device scenario. Let's put it that way. And uh, there is also another delay added uh, in the security section uh, that will also require the biometrical uh, check. And after it has been performed, it will put you on a one hour cooldown. And then it will also require an additional successful biometric authentication before certain sensitive operations and changes can be made, uh, such as changing the device passcode or perhaps uh, the entire, or I mean the general Apple ID password. So this way you will now be more certain that in case uh, your phone or your data will be stolen, uh, the thief will not be able to drop you out of your Apple ID or log you out of your Apple ID and, you know, steal important and sensitive data. Now it's better protected for sure. Um, next change is more practical, so I can kind of show you uh, sh show you this change here. So in the iOS 17.3, we've gotten a, new, a few new uh, Unity wallpapers, uh, which are aimed to honor the Black History Month. So let's look at them real quick. Let me open the lock and home screen customizations. So here are the add new wallpaper. Inter here is the add new wallpaper interface. Here is the unity section here. And now we got to wait a few seconds for all those pictures and all those wallpapers to be loaded. And as you can see, we had those wallpapers, I think, and now they have added a bunch of new ones. So that's also, I guess, a very good thing to have. Next big change uh, is related to the Apple Music and now in the new iOS 17.3 Apple Music, you will be able to create and participate in the collaborative or shared shared playlist. So let's launch the Apple Music here. Uh, if you would like to create one, go into the library section, then playlists, new playlist, just create a regular playlist as you would usually do or open an existing one if you would like to uh, transform it from your private playlist into the collaborative one. So here, create a playlist, then once inside it, you can, well, invite some people to join it and start collaborating, as you can see here. Uh, so once this change is performed and the playlist in the, is in the collaborative mode, you can share the link to it and invite some people to join by opening this interface there. Here's the link. Here's the convenient QR code that if your friend or colleague will scan uh, this QR code will automatically join them into the playlist. Uh, here you'll see the list of participants. And now you also have this share option that once enabled will make it so that uh, you will need to approve people prior uh, to them joining your playlist. Or if this option is disabled respectively, anybody who has this link will be able to join without any uh, end 12 the administrator approval will not be necessary so they will be able to jump in right away then at any given point you can stop collaborating and uh, close this playlist and make it yours again uh, oh, and another thing is that let me quickly add a few songs here so uh, inside the playlist next to the songs album covers you will see the uh, profile picture the miniature of the avatar uh, of the participant that added this song to your playlist so at all times you will always know who was the person that added, added this or that song and also uh, you will be able to leave an emoji reaction to any song here other than uh, tracks you've added yourself so you cannot react on your songs but if uh, any of the participants will add theirs you will be able to leave an emoji reaction on them 
And well, as far as this Apple Music thing goes, that will be more or less it. And uh, there are also a few other minor, uh, well, minor to medium uh, updates that I should mention. For example, now the AirPlay HODL support will let you stream contact directly to the TV in your room in well, selected hotels, of course. Uh, now the Apple Care and Warranty and Settings shows you coverage for all devices signed in with your Apple ID. I do not think I have any devices signed in other than uh, my iPhone, to be perfectly honest here. But well, at least now that's uh, an opportunity you can just monitor and uh, stay on top of all the warranty details of all your Apple accessories and other devices such as well, laptops, earpods, Apple watches and so on. And well, obviously, as with any update, there are also a bunch of uh, optimizations, uh, performance improvements, box fi bug fixes, and so on. Uh, in the official Apple release note, they specifically uh, stated that the crash detection optimization uh, have been made, but well, this crash detection optimization only works for the iPhone 14, 15, and well, so on. So the uh, devices before iPhone 14 just didn't have the system to begin with. And well, that will be more or less it, guys. If you have any questions left, do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.